Hey there, Bucko. Welcome aboard. How's it going? Good, good. We're gonna do a little permanent, permanent shack fishing. We'll stay overnight. And hopefully, catch ourselves a few walleyes. Let's do it. Let's get her done. Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're gonna be switching things up today. We're actually gonna be staying in Connor's Permi. You guys have seen Connor quite a bit. We're set up in just a big flat. We're kind of on a hump, hoping for some nighttime walleyes or maybe some perch. You never know. But it's currently four o'clock, sunset is at five, so we got set up an hour before sunset. Should be a good time. It's always a good time spending the night on the ice, but uh, I'll have Connor kind of walk through his permit for you guys. What do you got going here, our bucko? Yeah, you know, we got our little furnace down here. That's where oh, we yeah. our Here's where we're gonna be cooking our pizzas later tonight. Hey. <laughs> Microwave for, for the, the White, White Castles. Castles, you know. A little radio if you want to listen to some tunes. There is a TV up front if you have an underwater camera, or you yeah. can hook up the live scope. But you got two bunks. Yeah. You can sleep how many people in you here? Got five. TV. You could probably yeah. You could sleep five pretty comfy in here. Yeah. I mean, you could cuddle two people down there. Yeah. One up top. One up top here. and One here. Not bad. But you got what six holes? Four yep. here. Four and two up front. You even got a little bathroom going on, Connor. You're bougie. Oh, yeah. You don't like oh, taking yeah. poops in the cold, do ya? No, no. That thing's nice when it's real cold out like today. <laughs> As Connor said, it's really cold outside, so I'm happy we get to be inside a permi here. Obviously, we'll show you guys more of the shack once we get more into the video, but we still gotta move some stuff in. We just got the holes drilled. We got the electronics down just to see how deep we were and stuff, but uh, we still need to bring everything in and uh, get stuff situated outside and rig up fishing stuff, and then we'll get to fishing, but... As of right now, uh, we're just gonna get everything set up before the bite and hopefully catch some fish. Well, in each hole of Connor's shack, he does have rattle reels. If you guys don't know what rattle reels are, it's just like a tip up. But when you get a bite, you wanna angle this at the right angle here so it doesn't move. So you can loosen this knob here and that shows you how tight it is. But you wanna find the right angle of where it's not just gonna free spool, but it's not too heavy where the fish are gonna feel it. When a fish does take it, they're just gonna take this like that and that's gonna make a lot of noise and rattle. And that way, you know, if you're asleep, you can hear it, you'll wake up to it. Or if you're cooking, there you go. Connor has a pretty simple rig today. He's just got some tip up line to a swivel and then he's got a little split shot to some mono. And then we got a little treble hook on there. We're just gonna be hooking a minnow on there and dropping it down. Probably gonna keep it about a foot off bottom. Got our lovely minnow. We're just gonna hook them through the back here in front of the dorsal. Just like that. That's how I like to hook my minnows. It's pretty plain and simple. You just drop her down. All right, there we go. First rattle reel set. I don't know how many we're gonna put down quite yet, but uh, I mean, we can have four lines total here in South Dakota. I'm probably only gonna have two or three down depending on what Connor wants to do, but I'm definitely gonna be jigging as well, but it's good to have a good setup and a good fleet of rods out. The more lines you have down, the more chances of you catching fish. So, that being said, um, I'm gonna get my jigging rod set up. I don't know what I'm gonna put on yet. Probably something with rattles and maybe something with a glow. I don't know. For my jigging rod, we're just gonna start off with a little rattle bait. It's got an orange back, white front, and it's glow. It's got good rattles in there, and we're just gonna tip it with the minnow head and just drop her down and see what happens. Hopefully we can catch some fish, but I'll show you guys on live scope what we're fishing and what we're doing. We're in 22 feet of water. We are on top of a shelf, hoping that these walleyes, when they come feed, they come up to the shallow part here of the flat and uh, basically just look for bait fish around here. But I think it should be a good day. It'll be a fun time no matter what. We'll probably catch a bunch of little dinky walleyes, but there's a good chance of us catching a big one. We're just gonna have to see how it goes and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Buddy, you already hungry? I am hungry. You get that you get that shack set up and your just tummy's rumbling. Just staying mad at the white castle. Yeah. I'll show you guys what we got for groceries. We didn't get very much. We got I mean we're only staying out here for one day, so uh, you guys gotta think we're not gonna really go too hard. But we got white castles for snacks. Got some water, some red bulls, some chocolate chip muffins, honey barbecue lays, and some oatmeal raisin cookies. And then we also got some frozen pizzas for dinner. And then, did we get anything else? You already scarfed all your chips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, we haven't even been five minutes into this video and we're already 
R-E. Just mucking. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It is. It is. It really is. Company and food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm in bed. I got food. And I'm fishing. What could you ask for more, Connor? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Maybe some fish, but they'll <laughs> come. They'll come at some point. Well, we got the burger. Put some chips in there. She's a little hot. I'm probably gonna burn my mouth, but cheers. Mm. Deadly. Mm. There's a fish. That's a big fish, dude. Holy cow. Look how big it is on live scope. Mm -hmm. It's 28 feet down there, gooey. <laughs> or 22 feet. Mm, not too aggressive, but he's lurking over to you. He's long. Almost has to be a long one sticking the full time. Right? First fish is gonna be a big walleye? Wouldn't that be crazy? I, mean, I doubt he's gonna bite. You never know though, right? Can we try raising him a little bit? Here we go, fish on. It's big. It's big, whatever it is. Oh my goodness. If this is a walleye, dude, it's big. Like really big. I'm hoping walleye. It feels like a walleye. Doesn't feel pikeish. Just keep him pinned. Can I see him down there? Oh, it got off. It's a good sign. I wish he wouldn't have gotten off. We haven't even been fishing for like five. That was a big fish. Hooks are chilling. He got off though, man. Well, hey, we got plenty of fishing due for the rest of the night, but uh, I'm not gonna be too mad about it. You know, first fish came in, he bit. Wasn't super aggressive, but he bit, so that's a good sign. And uh, it was a big fish, so if there's one big fish, there's probably more big fish, but we're gonna get back down there and uh, see if we can't get another big one. It's not very big. Um, yeah, that works. Small little guy. Okay, yeah. Well, just a little baby bird. He gets to keep the minnow though. We're gonna get him back in the water. Hey man, uh, right? We got a rattle reel. It went off. Did you get him, Bubba? Yeah, he's pretty small. Ah, same play little squeaky. Oh, he spit it out too. Oh, rip. <laughs> Bad foggy. Yeah, it said it was supposed to stick around until like nine. <laughs> Definitely let it clear out. We got a fish on the rattle reel. Small. Really small. See what it is, huh? Little walleye probably. <laughs> yep. First fish of the night. Could have been that big one, but I just had to miss some, but we got this little guy. We'll get him back in the water. What you got going on now, Bubba? Oh, we're doing some connecting. Connecting it to your hot spot, huh? Yep. To the new phone you got, because your old one went to crap, eh? Oh, it sadly went down the hole, too. But I caught it about halfway down. It it didn't seem to do a lot. Well, Goey's going to do this. Then what are you going to turn on? I don't know. A movie? Some yeah. YouTube? What? I don't know. We'll find the out. The possibilities are endless. Well, Mr. T Shep is just getting in here, so we'll go check him out. Wow. It is foggy out here. Well, there's Shep. He's just making it out here. Connor's gonna go help him. It's pretty tricky to get out here. There's some good snow drifts out here, and uh, there's only really one good track to get out here. But this is all of our food we got. We got some frozen pizzas, like I said. We got a loaded breakfast bowl for the morning as well, but. It's cold enough outside, we can just leave that stuff out here. Daddy's home. Okay. <laughs> you can go back home. You, this isn't home. You can go back to your original home, Bubba. That was a scary little drive out here for, for t shirt Yeah, a little, little foggy, huh? Was, I couldn't see. That's not good. And then hey, I got lost. Fish are biting. But we're here. But they're small. Hey, it's, it's better than nothing. You're Finally, finally going to wet a pole this year? Yeah, it's your first time out, huh? Mm hmm. Get a cuddle with Connie. Yep. I'm right there, right next you're to him. Sleep in the big bed? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're our good luck. Maybe the, fig, maybe the big fish will come out and play now. Hopefully, I'll catch him at least. 
and he swam right past it. It's not a very big mark, but there he is. Little guy. Wow. Yeah. Get him up here. Maybe half an inch bigger. I don't know. We're gonna get him back now. Shep's hooked up with this first fish. He just got bit. What is it gonna be, Shep? Oh, it doesn't feel like a tank. Does it have some size to it, though? I don't know. It's my first fish of the year. I can't remember what these. You don't remember what they feel like, huh? Does it feel heavy at least? Oh, there's some. Oh, drag. it's digging okay. a little bit. It's, it's gotta yeah. be decent. Better. Better than what we have been catching at least. That's a good sign, huh? This could be a decent go, fish. boys. Could be a nice one, Shep. Is, is this the mounter? Is this the mounter? Where's your drag? Ooh, yeah, that's an eater walleye. I don't think we're really planning on keeping fish, but hey, that's the best one of today so far. Besides the one you missed. Hey, we don't oh. talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk about that. That's, how it's, that's stuff, how it's though. done, boys. Hey, Shep, give me a little first fish of the year for you. It's a good nice eater walleye. Nice little 16, 17. It was your fish. Do you want to put him back? You can. <laughs> okay, back in the water he goes. See you later, buddy. More where that Let's came go, from. Let's go, Shep. I, dude, you're the good luck. It's too easy. I told you guys I was gonna catch them all. Here comes the fish. It's not very big. Just a little squeaker. Yeah, look. Oh, we just got bit out of nowhere. He's here. He comes again. Seems a little bigger. Not much. Okay, I take that back. He's really small. Ah, sigh. Okay, just a little walleye. Probably gonna play keep away with these little guys until a big one comes in. But we'll come back down the water. Well, we got the little uh, screen mirror going. What you turning on, Bubba? Oh, this new little Madeline Klein movie. Mm -hmm. Haven't heard much about it, but it's bound to be good with her. Oh, Con it's bound to be Connor's good. Connor's got a little crush, huh? Yeah. Right on, brother. Madeline, if you're watching this, come to my ice house once or twice. She ain't going to be watching this. <laughs> <you, Bubba. laughs> well, we got my pizza going to go in. We got a little barbecue chicken with some onion on it. And this rattle reel's going. Or was it just because we're moving? Yeah. Oh, no, that's no, no, a fish. Do chef, you want chef, it, chef? Chef. Dude, I'm... Oh, he's, he's oh okay, well. Connor's going to get it. Uh huh? Yep. Small? It's little, yeah. Yeah. Bottom over here. Try not to rip them. Yeah. Don't want them to get too bloated, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, little guy. How's it going, Bubba? Hey, man. I'm just trying to cook. Is this your first time seeing uh, humans? You can see what his bigger one did to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. He got you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta give him a good. <sighs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, doubles, baby. Woo! Double. <laughs> The <laughs> boys are doubling up. Little walleyes, but anyways, we're gonna be cooking my pizza now, and uh, I'm really hungry. Here's mine, little barbecue za guy. She's looking pretty good. Yep, get me in there. I'll go here. All you. Shut Bubba, you getting hungry? Yeah, I can eat. Oh, what is that? Is that a white castle you're eating? Let's let's go. He's white castle. That's you think shit. I'm gonna eat that take trash? I'm gonna take a nibble of that. Take a little nibble. That's disgusting. Come on, get in there. I bit. can't eat that. I tried a piece and it was don't sponsor me, White Castle. That's all I gotta say. Drop a comment down below what you guys think of White Castles. I know they're not the healthiest things ever. They're not like they don't taste like really, really good, but they're not bad for a microwavable hamburger. Mm. Little barbecue chicken za. Get me in that. Cheers. Ah, uh, she's hot. We're gonna let her cool down just a little bit longer. Mmm. Second za is done, huh? Sure is. Who's all is this? Me and Ships. We're gonna split this guy. Okay, and then you're gonna pop the third one in later? Or? Yeah, later, yeah. If we get a little okay. hungry. Okay. It's looking pretty good though, huh? Jerseys. How's the fishing been? It's been pretty slow. Yeah, it hasn't been ideal, has it? It is currently 8 o'clock now. We got the movie on. We got Hangover going now. But uh, I think it's about a White Castle time for me. Even a 
Oh, well, a rattle reel just went off. Shep is gonna get her. Attempt to. Slowly lift up on him, Bubba. If you feel him set. Yup, we're on. We're Does on. it feel nice? Yeah, it feels nice. Let's go, baby. Feels nice. Tight quarters here, huh, Connor? Yeah. I don't know if it's Let's nice, boys. Get out of here. Get that line on my face, boys. Come on, Shep. Oh, oh he snapped it. He got off? He it. broke it, dude. Dang. That was a tank. Well, did it feel nice? Yeah, it felt really good. No. <laughs> Shit! Dang it! Dude, that felt so nice. It broke me off. Wow. That's We're never letting that right see. not be good enough or something. I don't know, man. That's depressing, dude. We've been waiting hours for that, and that's what happens? Yeah. What time even is Gosh. it? 10? 11? I don't have my phone on me. Oh, it's 10, 10 20. 20. Way off, but... That was our first bite in a while, and uh, it's probably a nice fish. Oh, so Shep lost, nice. unfortunately. Oh well. Well, it's 11 o'clock at night, and the boys are getting tired. Shep was already sleeping not too long ago, but I think we're just going to kind of call it a night. We haven't really had much bites, so if anything interesting happens during the night, I'll pick up the camera. But as of right now, we're just going to continue watching the rest of the movie. Probably just go to bed on that note. But uh, if Rattle Reel goes off, pick up the camera, and hopefully we don't lose any more big fish. Ain't that right, Bubba? <laughs> I ain't lost nothing yet. Yeah, Shep has. All right, we just had two rattle reels go off. This one went off, this one went off. Connor's gonna get that one. This one dropped it. I'm just gonna bring it up going on. I'm gonna give this one a little slack here. Dang, it was action though. I still got my minnow in my head. Got him? Yeah, it's pretty small. Oh, red. It's a fish though. Yeah, it's just a little baby guy. Bummer. What is that strap? I don't know. What do I do here, boys? I don't know. Do I move him to the top bunk or what? You might have to. <laughs> he might have. He's getting a little grabby. <laughs> but he's just zooming. Do you think if I move it, he'll wake up? Yeah, should we give him a minnow or something? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is currently like 8 o'clock now, probably. And the sunrise is like right now. Shop's been up for a while now. And uh, let's see how he's been doing. How'd you sleep first off? I slept like a rock. Connor, how'd you sleep? <laughs> anyway, you've been catching any fish? No, but I've been marking them, but they just won't bite. Just had a rattle reel go off. Missed that one, so that's good. Well, hopefully they start picking up here, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, Chef, this is decent. If it's, oh! You're still down there. Just give me a second. My. Oh! I just didn't get a good hook set. I was like this, and I just basically went like this. Ah! I don't know why I set the hook like an idiot, bro. Oh, that hurts. That was another nice fish, dude. Oh, it's too early for this stuff, man. I worked so hard for that fish. That was like 13 minutes long, just working that fish and. He finally bit and I just whiffed. Ah, uh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hmm, that looks good. Egg, cheese, sausage, potatoes, bet. Well, we're wrapping it up here in the Permi, and uh, I had a blast out here. Even though the fishing wasn't that great, it was still a fun time with the boys, and it's just spending the night on the ice. It's always a fun time. Fortunately, though, I'm not good at fishing. I would miss two decent fish, and Shep also missed one as well. But, Connor, thank you for taking us out today, Bubba. No problem, man. We had a blast. Could have been better, yep. but you know what? We had a good time. Oh yeah. Too bad. I don't know what the plan is. We're probably gonna go fishing later and see how it goes. We'll bring you guys along. See you guys in just a little bit. Alright, well me and Chip just made it out here to our spot. It's the same day. We don't really know how this is gonna go. We don't really know what's even in the lake. We just know there's some walleyes. 
and we're just gonna give it a whirl. We are set up in seven feet of water. It's 4.17 in the evening. It gets dark at five. Hopefully these walleyes will move shallow once it gets darker. We scanned around out in the middle of the lake and it was only about eight feet. There's a steep break that comes off the shoreline pretty fast. So we just set up kind of in the bowl of it. And uh, hopefully there's a lot of walleyes in the area. There were a lot of freshwater shrimp when we're drilling up the holes, which is a good sign, but enough talking. We're just gonna get to fishing here, but we got three tip-ups out each. And then we got our two jigging rods from inside the shack. Well, we got the first tip up of this ripping, ripping. Shep, get it. Get him. Wow, that thing's ripping, dude. It might be a pike. I don't know if there's pike in here or not. But... Hurry up and get him, Bubba. He was ripping it. Did you get it? Yeah. Nice. Feel big? No. No? Oh, man. He was taking a lot of line. It's not it's feeling bigger now. Yeah? Like how big are we talking? I don't know. Just take your time. Play her easy. It could be a big walleye. <laughs> I lost a rattle reel this morning. It's On a big one. Way. Just just play her nice and easy. It'll be alright. Don't want to give it any slack. No, no, I know, but you don't want to horse her. Oh. There's a leader. There's a le oh, it's a pike. Dude. Oh. It's a nice one though. It's a greaser. Do you have the pliers? Oh, you got your little toothpick. <laughs> I don't want to touch this thing. <laughs> well, hey, you're the one that grabbed it. So there are pike in here, huh? Dude, it looks actually like, kind of big, but it's yeah. in the ice, obviously. Oh, maybe not. That's a decent pike. Fat. That's a fat pike, dude. Hoping that this is going to be a Walter, but... It's all right. Whatever, we got a little action to start. Yeah, he's thick though. You want to re rig oh, this one? This thing. Well, first tip up of the night, a little greasy pike. Like I said, I didn't know what was in here, but apparently there's pike as well. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We uh, spent the night on the ice, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast with the boys. Huge shout out to Connor for letting us stay with him and his permie. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.